Hey guys, let's review the Boar from D20 Studios. Now, as you can see, this arrived today. It's got this lovely packaging, which has the board displayed, side box, side profile there, and the back. Now, you can see the different colours we have. The board comes in brown and black. I was very lucky. The lovely people over at D20 sent me this for free to do a review of. Even more lucky that they sent me a limited edition grey version. So not only are we going to review it, they've asked me to do a painting tutorial as well. So that's going to be a lot of fun. But let's crack this open. We have this nice little window box. You can see the boar on this side in its glory. And then we have the grey boar here. So I'm going to open this up off camera, give you my first impressions, and then we'll have a little play around. Okay, so first things first, this is the boar, just as it is. Now, my first impression, this thing is heavy. Um, it's a lot heavier than I thought it'd be, I won't lie. It has a lot of density to it. Um, it's also really pretty. A lot of moving parts. We've got loads of articulation. So, got swivels here, got joints just in here. We've got movement here. Obviously, the legs go up and down as such. We have an open mouth that moves with its tongue, so you can have it sort of like that. Very sharp corners, <laughs> I won't lie. The fur itself is also quite sharp, but when it comes to painting this, that will probably be a good thing. It means it'll pick up a lot of detail work, which I'm excited for. The feet armor here does indeed come off. However, it looks like it's going to be a bit tricky to do on camera. So I'm just going to leave it for now because I am going to use the boar armored up. Now, I'm very lucky. This is a limited edition gray, like monotone version. Um, as I said in the beginning of the review, D20 very kindly sent this to me. There's only 100 of these ones being made. And they were going to be a convention exclusive over in China. Um, I don't quite know what the gentleman over at D20 are going to be doing now, but this is what the grey term will look like. I know they did release the grey wolf as a general release as well, which was also limited edition. But when it comes to the grey one, so far I believe the only ones you can order are the coloured versions, the brown and the black. Um, if you do wish to order these, I've been told that you can get them from a Big Bad Toy Store, 5k toys, which most people are probably going to be familiar with. Or, direct from D20 themselves, they've told me that if you're in Europe, or the UK, such as myself, if you go to www.themightyunderground.com, I'll put a link in the description, it's a German retailer who are stocking these directly from D20, could save you a lot of money on import costs. I'm not entirely sure, I've never ordered from The Mighty Underground, but it's an option. I know they also stock Mythic Legions, and if I know people as well as I know myself, you're going to be using this ball for Mythic Legions. Maybe even some Mezcos, but that would be my impression. The board itself has a little slot up here, which the armour just pegs into. See, there's a little slot just here. The armour itself is very detailed, very, very detailed. It's going to be a lot of fun to paint up. We've got the spikes here, nice little saddle for a character to sit on. Overall, a lot of detail work. Also got the leather, which all the uh, spikes and strap to. The actual spike, the actual uh, saddle itself, as I said, just straps on top like such. We'll put this on now. Get it to peg in, just like that. And then underneath, you'll see, if I very gently remove this, you have these two straps here. You just put this underneath and you peg them in at the top, which I will just do now on off camera. There you go, very, very easy to do. Um, I managed to do it one-handed with a camera in my way, so it's not difficult at all. For the rest of the accessories, we have two long spikes like this, which I believe just peg in here. So let's build our little ball. I say little, this thing, I'll keep saying it, is heavy. I believe they peg in here, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it doesn't. Figure that out in a sec. <laughs> We have this little, I don't want to call it like a war band, but it's the back of the ball. So that just pegs in at the back here. Again, everything just clicks together so nicely. So nicely. This is so well made. And I'm not just saying that because they've sent me this for free and I've been working with them for a couple of weeks. This, it just, yeah, it all fits together so smoothly. No messing around, nothing. We have the face plate. Which again, if we put a bore up here, actual chain, which is a great little feature. You can have your uh, mighty warriors or your dwarfs or whatever riding it, probably goblins. 
I imagine a lot of people will be using this for goblins. So that just sits on there, if I can get my board to stand up. And then your rider can ride it, as such. And then, yeah, I do believe that these do peg in here. Um, it's quite hard for me to do with a camera away, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. But that is an option you have. Now, when it comes to size, I don't have any Mythic Legion mounts to compare it to, but what I do have is this. The Masters of the Universe Battle Cap. Um, so we can see the length of comparison there. You might be wondering why mine's black. You can see a little bit of the green in places. It's because I'm actually customising it. Uh, I'm planning on adding it to my Mythic Legion Skeleton Army. So that's the plan. But you can see it actually scales quite nicely. Um, so there's no reason if you've got one of these, you write about the size, it's actually quite a nice scale. And if you have a display setup, having these two opposite, head to head with their riders, probably will be a very nice looking thing on the uh, shelf, I won't lie. There is also this accessory, which I've just remembered. This just goes on top of the boar. So if you're having the hairless boar without all the armour and stuff, just plug that in top and it gives it a nice little bit of fur across the top here. So it's not a bad little thing at all. When it comes to the size, this is the comparison to McFarlane Toys Geralt figure. This is the size comparison when I get the staff to uh, go down. There we go. To Mythic Legion's figure, as you can see, it scales very nicely. Um, and then I have a headless dwarf, which I'm actually working on for a custom. Um, I would be a professional toy reviewer and put the head on, but I actually can't find it. So bear with me, because I don't know where it is. If you want some action shots of what the boar looks like with its rider, let me take away Geralt. This is how the boar looks with its rider in place. Um, so this is obviously a full-size Mythic Legions using the Gladiator. Um, as you can see, fits together very nicely. I'll put one of the uh, goblins or dwarf on, so you can see the size and of that if you wish to go down that route. And there you go, that is the size comparison of the dwarf. Um, I actually think this suits a dwarf or goblin much better. You probably also use it for an orc or something. I mean, with the bone looking phase, we'll go with your skeletons. Maybe if you made like a skeleton dwarf or something like that. Um, but overall, I am thoroughly impressed with this item. Um, I told D20 I would do a very honest review. Um, one thing that I always will have on here is very honest reviews. If I don't think a figure is very good, I will just say it. This is amazing. Um, I missed out on the wolf, and the wolf is the one that I really, really wanted. Yeah. Honestly, for about, what is it, $180, I think? You can't go wrong. It's so well made. It's so detailed. It's going to be an amazing piece in your collection if you choose to go down this route. Um, once again, thank you for D20, to, for, well, D20 Studios for sending this to me. Um, greatly appreciated. We are going to be painting this up, so if you have any colour recommendations, anything you want me to try and paint it as, let me know and we will see what we can do. Once again, if you want to buy one of these, you can get it from Big Bad Toy Store, you can get it from 5k Toys, or you can get it from the Mighty Underground if you're in Europe or England, or the United Kingdom, depending on how pedantic you want to be. Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please drop a like, counts amazingly. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We have more toy reviews, We've got some gaming videos now, because I had to merge the channels. And hopefully... I will see all of you in the next one, and maybe I'll even see a few of these balls in your collection. Bye, guys.